Former leaders and stakeholders in Nigeria have agreed that a well-funded and equipped state police can ensure peace. This suggests that areas of concern raised by Nigerians should be addressed through a thorough amendment to the Police Act, as discussed at a one-day national dialogue on state police and organized by the 10th House of Assembly in Abuja. Our plus TV, uh, Imano Ejene, completes the report. State policing has been in the national discourse for some time now, owing to the high rate of insecurity across the length and breadth of Nigeria. Though successive governments have tinkered with the idea of establishing state policing as a way of tackling the constant spate of kidnapping, headsmen attacks, banditry and other forms of criminality, the issues of political hijacking have often stalled the idea. However, the continuous high rate of insecurity in the country has changed the narrative as most of the stakeholders, the presidency, a former president, Goodluck Jonathan, and former head of state, Abdul Salam Abubakar. They say the call for state police was long overdue as solutions on ways the country can operate state police by applying the nation's peculiar situation, such as adopting the border force, the coastal guard, and engaging local traditional authorities. His Excellency Mr. President primarily believes that the path to effective security is through adaptive reforms catering to our diverse nation's unique needs and circumstances. This can only be achieved by carefully reviewing various models and options best suited to Nigeria's context. It gladdens my heart that the 10th House of Representatives under the Speaker Right Honorable Dr. Tajuddin Abbas has keen into this initiative of the President. The involvement of the legislature in executive reform proposals ensures continuity and synergy. Let us use this opportunity to engage and explore every option with the seriousness and diligence they demand. Responsibility in ensuring the maintenance of peace and order. As a young child growing up in a rural community, we see the role of these royal fathers in the various arm um, of in quote, their government. I think as much as we are talking of uh, establishing state police, we should do also look into the role vis-a-vis -vis of our royal fathers. If you make the states to have weapons that are inferior to the ones that the criminals are using, then you're asking their police to commit suicide in the field. You cannot give your police a weapon that will kill at maybe 50 meters range. Then the criminal has a weapon that will kill 100 meter range. Then you are not doing anything. So we must not even go there in terms of limiting the capacity of the state police. Earlier, the chief conveners of the National Dialogue explained why the discourse for state policing have become very necessary at the critical time in the nation's history. I ask you to debate freely on the pros and the cons of state policy. As we engage, issues to consider may include, but not limited, to the following. The desirability or otherwise of state policy. The time frame for a transition, if deemed desirable. Suitable model or model for Nigeria that account for context and diversity. Appropriate legal and institutional frameworks. We must draw the line because to have functional police, state police, we must have a strong federal police. But let us never forget the power of state police should never be used as a tool of oppression. Contrary to this course. Uh, certainly we do expect and hope that the review of the constitution that will happen will produce some significant difference in the way that the country is policed. And um, I think at that stage, uh, we'll all agree that National Assembly would have done justice to this. However, the Nigerian police in its submissions thinks otherwise. Speaking through Assistant Inspector General of Police, Ben Okolo, who represented the IGP, stated that by adequately funding the police as well as merging the NSCDC 
and Federal Road Safety Corps to it will help address some of the challenges faced by the police in ensuring a suffocated policing for the country. That Nigeria is yet to mature and ready for the establishment of state control police. This is due to the underlying reasons. One, adequate returns, no adequate resources in place for police infrastructure, such as police colleges, training schools, barracks, police stations, clinics, vehicles, communication equipment for the state governments. To achieve this, we must analyze the current legal and constitutional framework governing policy in Nigeria, discuss necessary amendments for the establishment of state police forces, and ensure checks and balances are in place to prevent any abuse of power. The theme of the national dialogue is Pathways to Peace, Reimagining Policing in Nigeria. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.